here with my model 1500 pistol rest. And here a few years ago I did a video on it, but there were just a few things I forgot to mention and plus we added a new accessory to this. So I'm going to still start from the front and kind of work my way back and then upward, but in the front here, my feet that I can screw in and out. So if I'm on a surface that's unlevel, I go ahead and I want to use this to level the rest out. And it's very important with that jammer to run that jammer up to where it locks it in, that foot cannot wiggle. Now I do that to all four, both up here in the front, and I do these also in the back to get it leveled out. Now my adjustment for lengthwise, which is super important, because back here is where I put my arms, so here everybody's gonna be different, so this is gonna be in a different position, you know, for, for different folks, but then I lock it in right here, okay? Okay, and moving on towards the front, up here where the handgun is, this front V up here, I have a material that uh, is just so unbelievably tough. In like five years, we've never had to replace one. I mean, it simply will not get burned up. And by taking the handgun, and I like a little bitty button here, I'll turn that for the camera, a little bitty button here that I like to push that, that like in this, with a Smith & Wesson, it'd be right up to here, or usually it's a trigger guard, and I push forward and stuff, and it just seems to give me incredible stability. And, uh, and obviously with this, I got all the adjustments here where we can adjust any height that we want to and we lock it in. Uh, now, in relation to this platform versus this one, it's made to where this is slightly higher than the back one. So, I mean, that seems to be most comfortable, but now you can adjust this so easily if you wanted that higher by simply adding a few simple flat washers, you drop it in, and you lock it in. So whatever position you want to get into, you can get it perfect, in which you can do the same thing for the back, where you can add washers here to the back if you need to raise it up. Uh, but anyway, folks, that pretty much covers it, but I want to uh, go ahead and get my new accessory. I got a sandbag accessory here that drops in the front. And for the, hand, for the guns like, say, the the Encore, the Thompson Contender, uh, it's just so super handy. Uh, and we're also going to be offering, let's say, if you have a stock that's two inches wide or three inches wide, we are going to have a sandbag for that also. Uh, but anyway, folks, we're going to take this thing to the range here. We're going to set up here and do some shooting. And uh, hey, thanks for watching. Okay, folks, I'm here with my grandson Jacob at the range here. And we're going to be putting these handguns on the model of 1500 pistol rest. And the reason we have so many here, we're going to have five of them. It's just going to show you the, the variety of handguns that we can put on the rest. So anyway, we're going to get set up and we're going to test this thing out. Folks, one thing I want you to pay special attention to is when Jacob's shooting, how steady it is here that he's holding. I mean, each firearm, how steady it is. So anyway, we're going to uh, get ready to send some rounds on range. Okay, we're going to be shooting this little Smith & Wesson, this little snub nose. Now typically that's something you shoot more like at 15 feet or 20 feet. Because our target's set up down there like about, well that's about 55 feet. Uh, so anyway, but we're going to see how this thing does. But there again, 
if you pay close attention how steady that pistol or that handgun is in that V. Okay folks, this time we're going to be shooting the Thompson Center and it's with my new sandbag adapter which is really really cool. Uh, matter of fact you can shoot two inch guns, three inch forearms or whatever. But our target now is going to be down there at 100 yards. Uh, we got a camera set up pretty close down there so hopefully we don't eliminate that thing. So anyway, let's see what this does. Anyway, folks, that sure was a lot of fun. And I hope you did pay close attention to how that handgun, how steady it is on there. Uh, but anyway, hey, I do appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want any more information on this thing, you just go ahead and give me a call. Adios.